Hey guys, no, this isn't the wrong video. I just didn't finish all of my 60% fame farming yet. I like to do a two for one thing. So I'll run the Silverstone Endurance Race, get a bunch of fame and get my, all of my M dollars in in one race. So there you go, that's a little trick I use. Now, let's get on to stage six of first flight for the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This is interesting. There's uh, more famous names coming out here. And 15,000 meters of drafting is required. Now, I'm worried. This is where events usually get very expensive because there are some big speed runs at Le Mans. So how are we gonna fare against the competition? Now, I already did a couple of tests on this one just to optimize my braking points. You can drive it in really deep. For comparison's sake, if you're used to driving the Cadillac DPI VR, that's the braking points I seem to be going with, although you can drive the Valkyrie a little more aggressively than that car. But we recently had a weekly time trial tournament in that car. I actually got a Group A finish in that one, was really happy there. So that's kind of what I'm growing with. Now, if you aren't familiar with this, I actually just did a video, Magnus actually helped me in showing actual track limits here. So you might have thought I just went off track. I didn't, none of that was off track. Same with this next set of corners coming up here. Watch closely, you're going to assume I'm going off track if you're used to playing other games or maybe for other reasons, but well, that might, there, that looks off track, absolutely not off track. And coming up to the next section, there's another, you can go super far to the left. Anyway, I'll put up a link to the video up now. I'll also put it at the end of this video so you can see it. It's kind of fun and so this one we have to win this race so it says you can draft off anybody and obviously it's accumulating that draft so 15,000 meters sounds really intimidating because that's more than one whole lap no it's not they got the following amount wrong in this game you get 2.5 meters for every one meter you travel or to put it another way for every Roman cubit you travel you get one meter I know that sounds funny, but when I was looking up measurements, that's what it compares to. 17.48 inches, 44.444 centimeters. You look it up, you'll find the Roman cubit. So, oh well, you'll notice that drafting goes by fast. Anyways, my strategy, find that first place car, get all the drafting done on that first place car, and then put them in the rear view mirror. That's what I'm looking to do here. Now, that, that was full throttle. It's possible that we could stay full throttle through this next section here. I'm not going to risk it right now because I don't know if I have to. Oh, a little bit careful there. And then coming into the last chicane, you can really push this. It is shocking how much you can cut this without actually being off track. I'm going to be taking it easy right now because there's the leader right now. Now I've got 457 meters of drafting in before I caught up. So let's just see how fast, like... If this is going, if this counter was proper, then it's impossible for me to get the drafting in because it's going to be, let's see, I think it's 13,630. So obviously that's impossible, but you'll see, it'll be done pretty fast. <laughs> so, And I am actually, I am completely shocked how poorly Ahmed is driving in this particular race. Like watch, he should be having a car that's at like PR 108 and I'm at 95.5. I should not be gaining on him. I don't understand why he's driving so slow. We had a prior day where he was very aggressive and was very fast on the straight sections. And yes, that was Nürburgring where he was all over my bumper. He almost did the pit maneuver on me. Well, look at this. I, I'm just completely shocked. So here, I've got to adjust the braking points to drive as if I'm actually him because I don't want to hit him. Everything's a no damage event. So like, look at this. Kind of a cool shot, but, but he's just not pulling away. Oh, look at that draft encounter. Notice how it's almost full. Like, really? Like, like I'm saying, you get credited two and a half meters for every meter you travel. So there you go. This will be my drafting will be over with very soon. So this looks like this is an easy race. I was very concerned about this race, but we'll just see. I don't know, um, we've got three more races to go, and if they're all at the Le Mans, if they're all at the full-length circuit, then this could get nasty. 
So there, I can't really gain on him, but here, he should give me the lane. Yep, look at that, he slammed on the brakes. I love that new bot programming. If you go back quite a while ago, they would not have done that. They would just smash you out of the way. So I like this. Sometimes they'll just give up the lane. So for the rest of this, um, I didn't test this. If you've been following my other races, you know that I've been testing how much off track we're actually allowed because so far when it says no off track, it means one full second of off track is allowed, which is a long time when you're going fast. Doesn't sound like a lot of time, but if you've done a lot of time trial racing, you know that it's incredibly hard just to find a tenth of a second sometimes. So, a whole extra second to play with is a lot. So now, I would just, I'm just gonna take it easy. Not gonna be pushing it too hard, keep a nice comfortable lead, and then I'm gonna reel in Ahmed right when I get to the end of this race. I don't wanna finish with a big lead because I don't want to have the bots get more difficult. This is about basic bot management, which is different than bot slowing. I can't do bot management because my PR is way below the recommended. All I can do is try to keep the bots where they currently are. If I could keep Ahmed driving the way he is, well, that'd be awesome because that would mean I'd finish this whole event with um, no upgrades. I still have no upgrades, guys. So pretty excited about that. There we go. I reeled him in nice and close. And usually Le Mans pays pretty good. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, let's get on to the second race. And what do they have for us? Zoe, Ahmed, and Magnus. Awesome. Well, that's great, because Magnus and I were just here doing that race skit together, doing a video. All right, let's see what he's driving. What? Is that Magnus there? I better switch. I got to turn on my uh, TSM names. Yeah. Looks like he's driving an old Lotus. Which is, I mean, it's a fast car, but not really. Okay, so in this race, um, this is hard. This is actually really hard. Get all of your tailgating in as fast as possible. So if you're familiar with the Bugatti circuit, we have this long section, corner another long section. Get it all done before the end of the next long section, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you why. Um, you could drive backwards for a long time, but there's lots of other cars. It's really hard to do that and keep up minimum speed. You need to pass Magnus right around here and power through this crazy fast, okay? That's where you're gonna make up a lot of your time um, because the bots take that chicane horrible. They're just atrocious there. And then this section here, this took me a few tries. I had to learn how do I maximize this in this Valkyrie. Well, holy smokes, you can really push it. And um, I'm gonna spend a little bit of that one second of off track coming up. You're gonna see here in this chicane. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of it. So right here, just a pinch. Like, I don't even know if that was a tenth. In fact, I probably could have got away without doing that, breaking very late into, this, into these corners. Here I opted not to break too late, but to get back onto the throttle a little bit earlier. Mm, that wasn't great, honestly. Okay, watch on your left, the blue-yellow curb. As soon as it starts, I'm on the brakes, starting my turn into the throttle very early. Okay, and on the right-hand side, there will be another yellow and blue curb. I'm going to go far over to the right, so my left sides are on it. Braking pretty close to the end of it for a bit. Look at that, see, I'm already hitting average speed, but we've got some big corners. This one, you can take this corner fast. You could take this full throttle if you set it up just right. I just lift it for a bit. I don't want to go flying off track. And then you just power through and this gets scary. Okay, the attempt I made just before this, right at the line. It went a tenth below the minimum average speed. So that one's difficult. You could drive backwards for a few laps if you want to, but it's difficult. And just what we would expect from Magnus, attitude. My goodness, man, such attitude. You gotta check the video. I gave Magnus a voice and I even animated him. If you haven't seen it before, it's pretty good, I think. This race, honestly, there's not much to this race. Um, as I said, in a similar race we had like this, the first thing you wanna do is create a gap because for this next lap, I need to finish in fifth place. So that Porsche should be slower. Magnus is gonna be slow, don't worry about him, he's not gonna be a problem. So there we go, there's my gap. 
Now, usually I would hang back, but you can't do that. This is a multiple, multiple goal event. So we have to finish in fifth place, but for then we've got to move up a couple more places for the next lap. So you want to be right with that group, but our braking ability is substantially better than theirs. See? So they're getting on the brakes quite early and you can find that you could find yourself rear-ending them. So just be careful with your braking points. Hang with them, but don't be so close that you end up failing the stage due to contact. So there we've got the uh, FXXK Evo and the Brabham kind of jockeying for position. I don't really care because both of them are going to be in my rear view pretty soon, but not yet. Hang back. And so here's where I want to set up a speed run. I'd like to be a little bit closer so I could be drafting. The FXXK Evo is a very unique car in this game. You can get very close to hitting its top speed at Le Mans on the straight sections. Very few cars can do that. So it's got a really unique transmission and I'm gonna have a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna do the pit maneuver by lifting off the throttle. That's kind of fun once in a while. I did an endless endurance race in that car against the Senna GTR and the P1 GTR. And it's an interesting pairing because the FXXK Evo has lower grip, but just the way it's geared makes it an incredible car. I'll throw up the link to that one. Back to the race at hand. Now I'm going to manage third place. Okay, so this is where I need to finish the race. So I'm just going to let the other two get ahead of me because I want to be close to fourth place when I'm finishing this race. Now when it comes to the Valkyrie, there's several different ways you can pronounce this name. It's an old Norris word. And so, you know, Aston Martin is an English brand, but we've got a Norris word. So um, if you go and check out pronunciations online, you'll find Valkyrie, Valkyrie, and even the odd Valkyrie. But most of the ways to pronounce it will seem to be more the Valkyrie, Valkyrie. So there you go. Have fun with it. It's a British brand with a Norris name. I don't know where they're going to land on that one. But it's a great car to drive. And Magnus is saying bye-bye with all that attitude of his. Well, there we go. We know we're going to be in Hockenheim ring tomorrow. So that should be interesting. There's some longer speed runs, but there's a lot of corners where we can get an advantage. Okay, this time around, you're going to drive it in deeper. So drive it into the second big white line there. Not at the end of the place I said, because there we were starting quite slow. This is really difficult. You really have to push it because uh, the descriptions is just messed up. They just, they made a mistake there. They said you've got to be in first place at the end of lap two. Well, we're already into lap three, so obviously that's not what they meant. What they meant to say was at the end of lap four. Then you got to fall back for the end of the race. But this particular part, this is really, really difficult. You've got to be crazy aggressive if you want a chance to overtake Ahmed. And again, I might spend some of my off track here. Um, I mean, this chicane's a good place to spend it. Probably the best place. So I'll spend a, there we go. I spent a little bit there. Definitely spent about half a second, I'd say. And I didn't fail. Here, look how early you can get back on the throttle. I could have got back even earlier than that. And I really need to optimize this corner here. Oh, that was bad. Oh, good grief. Okay, now I'll be braking at the beginning of the blue-yellow curb. See that? Into the throttle halfway into this. Now you watch what happens at the end of this section. Remember I was saying how the bots take this chicane so horribly? You just watch what happens here. There, I did not go off track at all, and look at that game. Now, I maybe could get a clean pass here. I will be setting up a buff pass. There we go, a little bump pass on him. Very gentle. Uh, to do that, I'm braking just a little bit later than I should. Okay, now, nice casual drive. Just get to the end of this lap and then pull over and you let everybody pass you. Yes, seems kind of mundane. Anyhow, if you liked this video, I would ask that you please press like. If you haven't subscribed, I ask that you would subscribe and you'll get these videos right away that way, especially if you do that little notification bell. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep going here, but some people might already be checking out already, and, and that's fine, I understand. I don't have much else to show you here, but I will show you the final screens. I'll show you my earnings, 
And yeah, you gotta make sure you don't win this race. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the start finish line and then I'm gonna throw this thing into 16 times regular speed and it'll go by real fast. And that'll just be it. Already here, I don't need a huge lead on Ahmed. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna go off track at all anymore because I already spent a good chunk of my off track. So you hate to get this far, succeeding in a really difficult stage, and then just do something stupid. I've done that in the past and it boy I don't like it. Okay, well, I'm gonna park on the far right here. I switch view so I can really see where the line is. I don't wanna cross it. And 16 times ranger the speed. It's gonna go by very fast. There we go. Really, that was about 50 seconds that I had to hang out there. And there you go, guys. So I can't believe it. There you go, look at this, no upgrades. No upgrades, and we're heading to Hockenheim Ring. You know what, it's possible that this could be done with no upgrades. You know, we'll have to wait and see, but it's possible, guys. So, thank you for joining me today. Please join me again tomorrow.